Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I'm gonna to be doing a empties video. Products that I've used up, I have a lot to show you guys. I'm gonna to try to go through the makeup first because you guys are probably most interested in that. And I'm actually getting ready to go to the gym. I'm in my gym attire. I don't have full glam on today, so hence like the no makeup makeup look. I just have a little bit of brow product in and just a tiny bit of foundation that looks very natural just to cover up my like discoloration a little bit. Yeah, so let's go ahead and get into this empties video because I have a lot of stuff. So I have some mascaras here. I have the Essence Lash Princess Mascara, which is one of my all-time favorite mascaras. I talk about this one all the time. And I just used another one up. I'm sure maybe I have two in this bin, but I love the wand. It's like nice and slim. It just gives me lots of length and volume, which is what I like. And it's like $4.99 or something. It's super affordable. Then I have the Pixie Black Lacquer Lash Primer. And I wasn't crazy about this, to be honest. I don't know. I just felt like it didn't really do much to prime my lashes. And I'm not crazy about the style of the wand. So this is something I wouldn't purchase. This was sent in PR like a long time ago. And then I have the Balm What's Your Type Black Mascara. And I actually like this mascara. I thought it was really nice. Um, I probably wouldn't repurchase it. I actually got it, I think when it was like 50% off because they do those sales every now and again. But I like the one because it's nice and small and it gave me some volume to my lashes and some length. I just felt like it gave me length and volume, which is what I like. So um, like I said, I probably wouldn't repurchase that just because I don't like spending a lot of money on mascara. I generally just stick with the drugstore mascaras, but I do like to branch out and try other ones. Um, I just don't like to spend a lot of money on them, so I got this one when it was on sale. Um, then this is the Burt's Bees Powder Foundation. I'm not exactly sure what it's called because it's kind of rubbed off there. Um, I do have a little bit left in there, but I'm not going to bother with it. So. Um, this is a more natural powder foundation. I didn't really use it as a powder foundation. I used it more like to set my foundation. I'm a little bit more picky now. I used this up quite a while ago. Um, I did enjoy it, but I don't think I would repurchase it just because I like other powders better. And I feel like the color is a little bit light. So, yeah, it's definitely light. So um, something I wouldn't repurchase, but I did enjoy it while I used, used it. I thought it looked nice on the skin, just a light application but I do think I like other powder foundations slash powders better than that one. All right, so here is another Lash Princess Mascara. I told you I probably had another one in there. And then I just recently used up this. This is the Sephora Micro Smooth, what is this called? A Baked Face Compact. It's just like a powder or powder foundation. I think it's a powder foundation. I'm not 100% sure. Um, so I actually just repurchased this because I love it. I feel like this is a really nice powder because it does look micro smooth on the skin. It doesn't look powdery to me and it doesn't look heavy. It just looks nice and smooth and I just, I love this. Sometimes I just like using powder foundation. So what I do is just put concealer on under my eyes or wherever I need it on my face. And then I just go in with a powder foundation or a powder that has good coverage. And this one does it for me. I would say it's probably medium coverage. You can build it up to medium coverage, but it just has that nice smooth um, finish, which I really like. So this one I repurchased. I have not opened the new one yet just because I need to get through some other things, but I really like it. So I had to buy it again. So I use the Almay Brow Styler. And I actually repurchased this. I really like it. It's one of my favorites. This one is in light brown. I like that the applicators are really tiny and it just really grabs onto all the brow hairs. I wouldn't say it's like a super hold, but um, I just really like how it like feathers my eyebrows up because it really grabs onto each hair. And I really enjoy this, so I repurchased it already. And then this is the Rimmel Wonderfully Real Mascara. So kind of had mixed feelings about this. When I first started using it, I didn't like it. Um, I like the shape of the wand, but it felt like it was super, super wet and it looked spidery, like my lashes look spidery. But the more I used it, it started to dry out a little bit and I felt like it started to look better, but sometimes it would get a little messy. Like if it was too wet, I would get it up here because as I've gotten older, I feel like my eyelids have drooped down a little bit and I haven't gotten Botox since before I was pregnant. So usually that will help lift my lids a little bit, but they have become a little bit hooded since I've gotten older. So it would transfer a little bit up there and I didn't like that about it. So I wouldn't repurchase that one. It's not my favorite. And then I have the Revlon 
Volumizing Mascara. Love this color because it's purple. You know purple is my favorite color. Um, this one was not my favorite. Um, this is what the wand looks like. I thought it was an okay mascara, but it didn't just, it didn't wow me. So I just didn't feel like it gave enough volume or length. So I would pass on that. I would not repurchase that. I'm sure I have more empties in this little bag, big bag, not little, <laughs> but um, they're probably buried at the bottom. So I'm just going to go through like what's on the top. I went through several like mascaras, obviously, and some makeup, but um, We'll just have to kind of dig through the makeup as we go. So this is the Pixi Rose Tonic. I love this. I've gone through a couple, maybe a few of these, and now I actually purchased the big jumbo ones. So this was sent to me in PR, and I absolutely love it. It's um, not overpowering when it comes to the rose scent, which I'm glad about because normally I don't like floral scents at all. It just says naturally smoothing and rinch in nutrients. This tonic helps tone, balance, pH, minimize redness, and calm skin, rehydrates, replenishes, and refreshes, um, even for the most sensitive skin, and it's alcohol-free, which I love. So this truly does just like help calm my skin, helps with the redness, because I do get a lot of discoloration. My sen my skin is very sensitive and it gets red very easily. So I do feel like this kind of like hydrated my skin, but also calmed the redness down. And I just love this. And so I definitely continue to repurchase it. I have two jumbo ones currently. Um, this is the Kate Blanc Rose Hip Seed Oil and it's organic. Um, I use this up. I absolutely love this. I've used it on my kids. Like when they have super dry skin, I will use it on their skin because you can use it on your hair, skin, and nails. So I've used it on my face many, many times. I absolutely love this. I purchased another one, but a bigger size. So um, this is one fluid ounce right here, and it is organic rose hip oil. It just really hydrates my skin, and I love it. So I purchased it already. I love that stuff. I can't tell you how many of these are in the bag. Probably a gazillion. I feel like the lighting's a little bright, huh? Okay, maybe you can see better now. Um, so this is the Vanny Cream. I've talked about it before. It's gentle. It's a gentle facial cleanser for sensitive skin, free of dyes, fragrance, masking fragrance, lanolin, parabens, formaldehyde, and other preservatives. It's sulfate-free and betaine-free. So I purchased this from Target, and I've gone through so many of these. I know the ones that I have in my bathroom currently because I carry. One, I have one in the shower and one on my um, sink. And I think those are almost gone as well. So I just go through these. I think they're like $8.99, super affordable, great for sensitive skin, just a very mild cleanser, but it does take up, take off all my makeup, which is why I keep purchasing it. So I really love that and I will continue to purchase that. Here's another rose tonic. See, I told you I probably have several of these in there. This is the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. So I heard about this from Tara Babies. I will link her channel down below. She gives very informative like hauls, empty videos. And this is probably the best moisturizer I have ever used. If you have dry skin, you definitely need to try this. Um, initially I would get it from Sephora, especially if they would have like one of their sales, but they now carry it at Ulta. So I'm really happy about that. So um, yeah, I'm already on my second one, I've already bought a backup to that one because that one's almost gone. But this stuff truly hydrates my skin. It has like a nice, thicker consistency to it. Even when I wake up in the morning, my skin looks so radiant and so hydrated. Like it just looks so good. I can't tell you enough good things about this. Seriously, this is the most moisturizing moisturizer I've ever used. It's amazing. I used up the Kate Blanc Jojoba Oil. This is also organic certified organic. I love this jojoba oil. I already purchased another jumbo size bigger than this one. Again, I use this on my kids. I use it on my skin. Um, I haven't used it on my hair, but I do use it on my face. And if my hands are super dry, I'll use it on my hands and also on my skin, on my kids all over their body if they're super dry. Um, but it says hair, skin, stronger nails. So this is great. It's very moisturizing. I love it. I purchased another one. So this is the native deodorant. Um, they now carry this at Target. I'm sorry if you can't see. It's like having trouble focusing on white things, but this is the eucalyptus and mint. It's paraben free and aluminum free. I use aluminum free deodorants. I no longer use antiperspirant deodorants. This is one of my favorites. Um, I like the eucalyptus and mint just because you you do smell both of those scents. And um, I feel like it does keep me 
or it prevents me from being stinky throughout the day and it smells really nice so I like this and I have repurchased it. Um, this is the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream for normal to dry skin. They sell these at Costco and they come in a pack of two I believe. I think for $19. Normally I think one of these, see this is the Costco one because one's bigger than the other in the Costco set. Um, normally the one you would buy is a little bit shorter than this like from Target or Walmart and I think it's like oof, might be like $16 for the one. So I always get them at Costco now because you get two for 19 but this is the best moisturizer for my skin. So it's non-comedogenic, non-irritating, ceramides help restore the skin barrier, hyaluronic acid attracts needed moisture, glycerin and, and dimethicone help prevent moisture loss. Um, this is pretty much all I use. I used to buy lots of like um, lotions and stuff like that, but now I just really wanna stick to things I love and this is something I love. Like if I had to recommend products, um, a lot of these things I stick with. The Essence Mascara, the CeraVe, the Belief Moisturizing Balm, the Pixie Rose Tonic, um, these two organic rose hip and jojoba oils, the Vanny Cream, the native like these are all things that I continuously use and buy and love so if you have super super dry skin I would definitely recommend using the CeraVe uh, moisturizing cream it's amazing um, here is a L'Oreal voluminous base this is like a primer um, I actually really like this I think it does prime the lashes really nicely it has the traditional wand but it does it is a white primer so it just really like gives my lashes some volume before I go in with mascara and I feel like it makes my lashes look more defined when I put the mascara on over it so I love that I would definitely repurchase it I don't think I have one right now I haven't purchased another one but I need to and here is a L'Oreal Voluminous Original Mascara I like this um, it used to be one of my favorites but now I just use the Lash Princess mostly but I wanted to give this a try again because I haven't used it for a long time, like probably years. So I bought one and I, I did enjoy it, but I do like the Lash Princess, I think a little bit better. I like the wand a little bit more. And I felt like this time the L'Oreal Voluminous felt a little drier than I like. All right, here's a third Pixie Rose Tonic. I told you guys, I just went through those like crazy. This is the Equate Beauty Oil-Free Eye Makeup Remover. Gentle and effective. Um, so this is, from Target, no, no, this is from Walmart. Target has one that's the Up and Up brand. That one's good too. This one is supposed to be like the Neutrogena one. I love this. It removes my eye makeup really well. And uh, it says it even removes waterproof mascara, no oily residue. Um, I always find that these do have a little bit of an oily residue. Maybe it's not oil because it's oil free, but it does feel a little bit greasy, but I just wipe it off after. All right, so here's another native deodorant. This one is the coconut and vanilla. Sorry if you can't see that. So this is the first one that I bought, and I do love coconut scents, but I just feel like the eucalyptus and mint is longer lasting than the coconut one for me, so that's why I stick with the eucalyptus and mint. This, um, I've purchased so many of these. I get them at TJ Maxx. It's the EO Essentials Rejuvenating Shower Gel um, made with botanical extracts and pure essential oils. Mint and Citrus is this one. And I love the Mint and Citrus. I like the Lemon. There's two Lemon ones. I can't remember the names. Maybe I have another one in here. But both of the Lemon ones, I love. I love the Lemon ones the most. So yeah, I keep purchasing these. I think they're $9.99 at TJ Maxx. Um, yeah, these are amazing. I absolutely love those and they're a little bit more natural. So yay for those. Oh, see, I have another one. <laughs> so this is the Mayer Lemon and Honey one, but they do have a different lemon one. Um, so yeah, I just, I recommend those. They're really nice and they're big. All right, so here's another deodorant. It's the Eucalyptus and Mint. Two of those, another mini rose tonic from Pixie. Here's another CeraVe moisturizing cream. So this is like the standard size you would get from like anywhere else, like Target, Walmart, CVS. This is the one that comes in the Costco pack. It's a little bit taller. Here's a mascara. This is the It Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. I like this wand. This mascara was nice. I did like it. Um, 
the wand is kind of similar to my essence one that I like, but I feel like it did give some volume and some length, which I like, but I wouldn't repurchase it just because it's like a little bit more expensive than drugstore. So that for me was nice, but I would definitely not repurchase it. Here is the, another little rose tonic. And here is the collab high rise insane length mascara. I love this mascara. I thought it was really nice. The wand is very interesting because it's like almost non-existent, like the bristles, but um, I feel like this really did give me some length and volume and I thought it was nice. It's not my favorite, I wouldn't repurchase it. I'd rather stick with the Essence one because that one's my favorite, but um, I just wanted to give it a try and I did like it. I'm telling you guys, I have so many of these Vanny Creams. Uh, here's another CeraVe lotion. This is the Algenis Firming and Lifting Cream. Um, so this I used to use before the moisturizing balm from Belief. I really like this as well. I actually have one that's open that I need to use up. So I should probably use up my Belief that I'm currently using and then use this one up because it's already open before I start my new Belief. It doesn't have a scent. Um, I just felt like this is also very moisturizing and it's just a really nice moisturizer as well, but I do like the Belief better. I do feel like with the Belief, it's a little bit more moisturizing. And like I said, when I wake up from that one, my skin looks so hydrated and it just looks like plump and it just looks good. Like kind of like it has that glow to it. I just, I love that one. This one's also really good, but I don't think I would purchase this one anymore just cause I love the Belief one so much. So I used up the Body Shop Coconut Nourishing Body Butter. This one I used up a long time ago. Some of these products are just really old. They've been sitting here forever. This smells so good. I love coconut scented lotions. But now I pretty much stick with the CeraVe ones, although I do still have like some scented lotions that I need to use up. I just stick with the CeraVe, it's what I like. Um, this is the Belief Moisturizing Eye Balm, which is also an amazing product. I actually am using like a full size one. This is a sample. This is a great moisturizer for under your eyes. It's my favorite. It's what I'm gonna use consistently now. Provides intense moisture boost elasticity and it's amazing, definitely try it out. This is the Urban Decay Perversion uh, Mascara. It's just a sample size. The wand for me is a little too big, so I didn't really enjoy this. I don't like when the wands are big. I just, I feel like I start making a mess. I get it all down here, all up there, and it's just, it's not good. Here is another native coconut and vanilla deodorant. Um, like I said, I was using the coconut one before I got the mint and eucalyptus, and I just prefer the mint and eucalyptus. This is a mascara from Ico London. I think I got this in like a BoxyCharm or something. I didn't like this. It is waterproof. I First of all, I hate waterproof mascaras. Second of all, I do not like the shape of this wand at all. I felt like it didn't do anything for my lashes, so definitely would not purchase that. This is the Ulta Brow Tint in Light. This used to be one of my favorite brow mascaras. I used to use this before, like the other one that I mentioned. Um, it has a tiny little wand, which I like. I mean, obviously it's different than the um, Almay one because this one's a little more fat, but it's small. The other one's a little bit like, it's just really slim. Um, but this one was really nice. I would repurchase it, but right now I have a lot of brown mascaras, so this one is not going to be repurchased anytime soon, but this is a really good one. It's nice, it um, feathers my brows up nicely. I like the small little wand. The color for me, it was good. This is in the shade um, light. Okay, so I used up the Bare Minerals Brilliant Future Age Defense and Renew Serum. Um, formulated with manganese and vitamin C plus chai hue extract. This I had got at TJ Maxx a long time ago. This was amazing, I really liked this. I thought it made my skin look really nice and hydrated before I put on my foundation. That's typically how I used it. I didn't use it at night or anything. I just used it right before my uh, foundation application. Came with a little dropper, wasn't the best like sometimes it was hard to get out when it got to the bottom, but I used it all up and I really loved it and I thought I would repurchase it. But as of right now, I have so many other skincare products that I need to use up so I wouldn't repurchase it, but I definitely loved it. It was a really nice product. I was kind of obsessed with it there for a while, um, but it's gonna be on the back burner for now. All right, so here is the Native Deodorant. Again, Eucalyptus and Mint. This is the Maybelline Master Contour V-Shape Stick Duo. Um, 
I'm just, I'm just done with this. I didn't want to use it anymore, so that's why it's in here. I think the color is good. I just don't like how it's a duo. Cause like it's hard now just to get that color or this color, you know what I mean? But um, I really like the shade of the contouring side. It's not warm, it's more like cool toned. But I'm done with this, it's old, so I'm gonna get rid of it. And then I think lastly for today's video, I'm just gonna show this because um, I have like so much more stuff. This video is gonna be so long. So this is the Pixie Skin Treats Rose Cream Cleanser. And I really liked this, I think it's really nice. It took all my makeup off. It's rose scented, but not overly fragrant. It says nourishing cream cleanser with mineral rich mud cleanses skin and it helps strengthen and soften rose and avocado conditions, chamomile and aloe vera smooths for all skin types, including sensitive. Um, so yeah, I just use this to get off all of my makeup and I thought it worked really well. And um, I would consider repurchasing it, but I think I have another one that I'm using. I have like a few other like facial cleansers that I need to use up before I even think about that. So yeah, those are all my empties that I'm gonna include in this video, but I do have a lot more. So we'll just do those in another video because, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do this one right here. Hold on. Okay, so let me just show you this. This is the Hemp's Original Herbal Shampoo for damaged and color treated hair. Um, I love the way this smells. It smells like watermelon to me. And I also have the conditioner, which is almost done, but I think I have a little bit left. Um, 100% pure natural hemp seed oil, gently cleanses and helps preserve tr color treated hair. The smell of this is so nice. It's paraben free, gluten free, 100% vegan, THC free. So I like this, but I don't love it. Um, right now I'm going through some things with my hair. Um, I talked about it in another video that I was diagnosed with Hashimoto's, which is an autoimmune disease of your thyroid. And my hair was so brittle, not brittle, but it was so dry and it's just so tangled. And it was like something I've never had with my hair before. I've always had a lot of hair. And so I had to chop my hair off. Like I think it was five months postpartum. I just couldn't take it. My hair was so tangled. It was unbearable. And that's kind of a symptom of Hashimoto's. So I cut off all my hair and that did really help get all that hair that just felt incredibly dry off. Now I'm just having so much hair loss, which is another symptom and I just need to figure all this out. So yeah, I feel like I've lost almost half of my hair. Like I'm not even kidding. The amount of hair that I lose on a daily basis is just crazy and I feel like I'm gonna go bald at this rate. So I don't know, this is just not, something I would repurchase right now, but I really love the scent. It's just, I need something that's a little bit more hydrating, I feel, so. Anyways, I better go. My baby's waking up and I need to go to the gym, so I love you guys. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Bye.